Welcome to my mobile office. The deadline is very tight at this point. I'm gonna to try to film what I can and what I think might be interesting. Thanks for coming along on the ride. All right, so what I'm doing here with Inkscape is I'm gonna be creating my plans for it and figuring out all my dimensions. I can switch it to inches. Let's say I wanna go ahead and just make that four feet across and enlarge that. So now everything's to scale. So as I continue drawing it out, I'm basically creating dimensional plans for myself. I bought a brand new bike just for this. It was cheaper than going online and buying just the tires and wheels. $60 for an entire bike. It's pretty crazy. plywood piece of butcher block I like having inkscape out here because I can kind of plan out my cuts I was moving half of this piece of plywood here. Hit one of my lights, and apparently my cage, these cages work pretty good, but if you hit it hard enough, I mean, it it actually broke the, broke the connector in there. So it's gonna be a little darker in this corner. Cool, I dig it. Little poles. Place, I'm gonna use the shelf pin jig, which is great because you basically just put holes on all of your corners, these pins to go into, and you can put them inside there and then plop your shelf in. Okay, so I put a round over on the back side and also used my orbital sander to remove a lot of the material back here on this back side. Here it is. Woo! Let's have it not spinning towards my face. That would be better. The trick with drilling metal is keeping it slow. <laughs> uh, I love it when a plan comes together. See, 
see how often I use this based on <clears throat> how much sawdust. That is so hot. Doesn't be where to look. This is what I'm going to use to attach the top to the box. And again, these allow for that butcher block top to expand and contract and not to blow the box apart. That's better. That's not going anywhere. You should come check out the Working Hands podcast. It includes me and two of my good friends. We talk blacksmithing, woodworking, digital fabrication, and much more. We release a brand new episode every Saturday morning. You have arrived. Oh, that's good. Hey, Jeff. Thanks for following along with this build. I especially want to thank my supporters on Patreon, and that would be Woodland Iron and my top supporter, Kyle Hickson. Thank you for your continued support. If you're enjoying what I am doing here on the channel, here's a quick reminder to just subscribe and tap that notification bell. You can also leave a comment down below, positive or negative, I appreciate it all. And until then, I hope you find me on the next one.